Hello and good morning, Summer Shred family. I am already late with this video. This is technically Wednesday morning. I was too tired yesterday. I'm not even going to lie to you. Okay, I was too tired. It wasn't going to happen. So you get the no makeup face and fresh out of bed hair. Um, let's, uh, let's just get right to the weigh-in. Okay, so let's do this here. And we're back. So, 252.8 was my weigh-in, and that is 0.8 pounds, or 8 tenths of a pound down from last week. Um, not the greatest loss. However, my birthday was Saturday, May 19th. We won't discuss the age. Uh, 44. And, um, <laughs> was that? I mean, 29. Um, this is what I'm predicting. I'm, I'm, I'm glad. I'm glad. A loss is a loss. Period. It shouldn't have been a loss with the way that I was partying the day before and the day of and the day after my birthday. So knowing my body, I expect a gain this week. But it's okay. It's one of those superficial gains. You know, it's it's my, ba my body balancing back out for all the sugar shit I ate those three days. And I ate sugar shit for three days. I really did. It's not that I overate either. It's just that I was eating shit, and I was, okay? Because it's my birthday, and I was eating lots of birthday cake, ice cream with that birthday cake, and then I had birthday dinners all three days. People, to, you know, friends taking me out for dinner, family dinner, blah, blah, blah. So, uh, and I, I do not restrict myself during that time. It's my birthday. Okay. I, back in the day, I would celebrate the entire month of May was considered my birthday. Okay, so... Three days, not so bad. But um, I'm expecting the water weight hormonal crap to fluctuate this week. So probably this week's weigh-in will be a little bit bigger. Not not a lot, but bigger. And then we'll probably go back down unless Tom is coming next week. Not, not this coming week, the next week. So who knows? But we'll, it, we'll, it'll get back on track. I know it will because I'm back on plan, sticking to plan. And I'm not stressing it. So... Yeah, I guess that's it. Uh, this week's question was, when I reach a milestone, how do I reward myself? And it really depends on the milestone. You know, I've done a lot of yo-yo dieting my entire life. I only consider two additional times other than right now where I was successfully losing weight and was very motivated and got a large chunk of weight off me and you know felt like a normal person during those times I only say two times all the rest were just crappy up and downs but like I said I'm trying to get rid of the yo-yo dieting I'm trying to get my relationship with food fixed blah 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 but during those times where I lost substantial amounts of weight. And it ba basically, one was in 1996 was the beginning of it. And that is, that actually was the very first time that I lost, you know, a huge chunk of weight and felt like a million dollars. Um, and I rewarded myself every 20 pounds back then, if I, my memory serves me right. And uh, when I say every 20 pounds, I mean, I would reward myself with one hell of a shopping spree, okay. I would shop till I dropped. I was I was insane. And you think I shop now? You did, if you'd known me in my twenties, okay. I was bad girl. So I would I would reward myself with uh, plenty of new outfits, and I had a terrible mindset of, you know, me and my girls. I had I had these the two Heather's I called them. One was my best friend for life, who you have have met already. Well, it's funny I got two Heather's in my life again right now, but. Uh, the the best friend Heather and the other Heather, so we had to go by their last name. So um, they're married, so I can use their maiden names, I suppose. Crow and Tuttle. Crow was the bestie. Tuttle, awesome friend. You know, we were always together, and um, 
we would go out multiple times during the week, you know, out to ladies night, Wednesday night. So we would be out Thursday, Friday, Saturday, most of the time, and sometimes even Sunday, depending on where our, we had, we were friends with multiple bands. So we would, I don't know why I'm telling you all this, but basically I had an attitude of, I could never repeat an outfit. So can you imagine the shopping I was doing? Okay. So that is how I rewarded myself. Plenty of shopping. Lots of useless information there just to answer that simple question. I know it's a bad habit of mine. The second round of weight loss was uh, right after having uh, my son. And basically, I I had maintained that original weight loss. The one I was just referring to. I'd maintained that for a good six, seven years. Um, then I got pregnant and put on crazy amounts of weight. As soon as I had him, I began working on and I got it all back off me. But, but then, due to me having a child, my um, spending was cramped a little bit. You know what I'm saying? And I had a baby. But I did reward myself. But it wasn't like in goal increments. It was just when I was starting to fit into my old clothes, I would go get myself maybe a one outfit or um, a new purse or perfume and something I'll polish. You know, I would reward myself that way, but definitely not the same way I did back in 1996 however so that was 2001 so as for this time around um yes I've lost some weight not enough for me to want even have the desire to reward myself to be honest with you there will be no rewarding myself until I can purchase clothes in the non plus size section and that's no offense to people who wear plus size and, and enjoy every moment of it. That's great, happy for you, not for me. I have so many clothes that I no longer fit in that I refuse to keep buying lots of clothing items until I get a large chunk of this weight loss. Um, yeah. So whatever shopping you see me doing now, they are not. that is not a reward. That is just impulse shopping by Kim. But yeah. When I am back into regular clothing, and I'm talking a basic size 12 is going to be good for me. You know what I mean? I'm not trying to be, you know, <laughs> I just, I want to be able to go to a normal store that doesn't have to have a plus size section that I can order or, you know, order from or walk in and buy. I don't want to always have to have a special section to be from. So there will be no rewards like that until I can, I can fit into uh, something from any store I want, I guess. Yeah, that was a long-winded answer. So that's, I guess, purchasing myself something would be the reward. And that's all I got. That was really long-winded. So, I know, shocking for me, right? I'm going to let you go. I don't think there's anything else. Yeah, I think that's it. I'll see you all next week. Hope you have a fabulous one. And hopefully next time you see me, I'll have some makeup on. Except for tomorrow's Journey to Health video because I'm going to record it right now. So I'm going to look the same. You all have a fabulous week. <laughs>